Attention, guys. The countdown is on. On October 18th through the 20th, we have an epic event that will be a blessing on your journey as a man of God. Get ready for the Iron in Autumn Men's Retreat happening at Abundant Blessings Farm in STEM, North Carolina. This is a men's only event, guys. You have to be 18 and up to come. So imagine disconnecting from the noise of the digital world we live in and immersing yourself in the presence of like-minded brothers in Christ. Together, we're going to embark on a journey of self-discovery, camaraderie, and personal growth. And this retreat has it all, guys. Bonfires, hiking, group sports, time by the pond, fishing, powerful scripture sessions, heartfelt testimonials, and of course, some great food. Yes, we're even camping under the stars. The spots are limited, so don't miss your chance to be part of something epic. So you can book your adventure now at thelionwithin.us slash events. So if you have questions, reach out. I'm here to help. I'm here to answer them. I can't wait to see you there. That's thelionwithin.us slash events to reserve your spot today. Welcome to The Lion Within Us, a podcast serving Christian men who are hungry to be the leaders God intends you to be. I'm your host, Chris Granger. Let's jump in. All right, guys, it's your meet episode. I'm excited to be here with you, so let's get right into it. So we're going to be looking in the, in the book of Mark this week. So Mark chapter 16, two verses, verses 15 and 16. He said to them, Jesus speaking, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. But whoever does not believe, he will be condemned. So guys, go listen to the spiritual kickoff. I unpacked that, those verses at length. Gave you some ideas on how you can simplify and apply that to your life. And again, if you like the spiritual kickoff episodes, we do that every day, Monday through Friday, within our Lion Within Us community. Get started. Get plugged in. If you need a little spiritual boost to get your days going, we provide it for you every day. Okay, it's right there. You can come hang out with me. We'll have a good time together. And I guarantee you, you'll leave hopefully encouraged and ready for the day ahead. So now for today, for this episode, we, I, we welcome in Dr. James O. Davis. Okay, he's the founder of the Global Church Network and also Cutting Edge International. He is really, he's known worldwide as a leading Christian networker uh, and probably one of the greatest of our time, quite frankly. For the last 40 years, he has been successful in developing and deploying 10 major international in initiatives. So he's, he's always on the go. He's always busy. He's always moving uh, and just trying to do what he can to advance the gospel. And he's really committed to synergizing and mobilizing the global church because at the end of the day, it's about completing the Great Commission, everything that Jesus has called us to do. So he's a wonderful author. Uh, great speaker for sure, and he's just he's recognized as an air, as an expert on networking and leadership. So you guys are gonna love this one. Dr. Davis is is phenomenal. I really just enjoyed the time with him. Uh, just his spirit, his demeanor before we recorded. Uh, just the way that he actually. I always pray with guests before every episode. Just it's just part of the process. I just want to make sure we invite the Holy Spirit to the conversation. He, I believe, he's the first person ever. So when I finished praying, he immediately started praying for me and for, for the lion and for the conversation. So it was very, it was just spirit led. I got out the way as usual, just let the smart guys talk about the smart things, right? And uh, he just had a, he, he shared so much wonderful things, lots of resources out there as well. So go check out the show notes, guys. Uh, connect with us if you have any questions or any, any or thoughts that you, that we can help you with to get started as you move forward, this idea of advancing the Great Commission. Definitely want to help you uh, just get plugged in the best we can. All right. So enjoy this conversation with Dr. James Davis. Well, James, welcome to The Line Within Us. How are you doing today, sir? Man, I'm doing incredible. And I often use that word incredible, uh, Chris, because when I get asked that when I'm traveling and I say I'm doing incredible, that person pauses because I didn't say I'm just doing good. I'm doing fine. I said, right, I'm doing right. incredible. And they, they look at me and I, I want to know more. And right. but as a Christian, wow, we get the opportunity to live a, an amazing, incredible Christian life. Amen to that. Amen. And we need to lean into more of that. I feel like so many Christians out there, James, their spirit animal is like Eeyore or something. And that's just, it tears me up. Like, come on, we oh, should be yeah. a lot more on fire, you know? I agree with that. And uh, 
You know, we should live, do our best to live with Christ high on the peaks. And I realize there are times we have to walk through valleys. We all do. And some who say they don't ever have to, um, between you and me, Chris, um, even the Lord had to walk through valleys. And, uh, but thankfully it's not all valleys and it's not all peaks. The Lord knows how to balance it all and help us to get through to the end. Amen. Amen. Well, before we get into it too, you know, heavy today, why don't share something fun about you that not many people know about you, uh, James? Well, thank you. Um, I have an identical twin brother, Chris. And, oh, yeah? Uh, identical. And his first name is also James. And uh, we're named after two grandfathers whose first name was James and whose their fathers was James. And um, my dad had a brother named James. Um, I had a son that's with the Lord named James. Uh, we just get on one name, Chris, and in our family, it. and we just drive it all the way to the ground. <laughs> you know, so, uh, but it's uh, it's really special to have an amazing uh, twin brother who's doing amazing work for the Lord as well. And uh, so that's a little inside scoop on uh, the Davis family. I love it. And this happens to be my my favorite book of the Bible, too, is James. So there no, you go. That's good. Yeah. No, that's good. I, I remind my two daughters, I have two amazing daughters that are 18, 21. I remind them that the first town in America is Jamestown. I, right. I, I say to them, I said, they could have chosen any name. I said, but they chose Jamestown. So I, I just make it a real strong point. There you go. There name you go. James is very important. <laughs> love it love it yeah. well looking forward to hanging out with you hearing your story unpacking some things that you did here in your book and maybe get us started about you know global church network and, and what led you to, to founding that well thank you uh, and thank you for you chris and for your audience and for the fact that lion within us says it all that uh, christ is that that lion and um and that gives us the courage the faith, the fortitude to be able to find God's will, follow God's will, and finish God's will. And when I'm asked, you know, what is, how do you measure success? I say, find, follow, finish. And because the Lord wants us to get in the race, but he wants us to finish it as well. Um, It was a snowy day. Um, It would have been February 18, 2001. I was sitting in my car in Springfield, Missouri. Um, I just left some meetings and I was sitting in the car and and I was really praying about the future. And I knew there was so much more available. And the Holy Spirit whispered to me sitting there that day to pick up the phone and call the late Dr. Bill Bright, founder of Campus Crusade for Christ. And I called him later that day. We spoke on the phone and I said to Dr. Bright, I said, um, I just believe we need to build a network for pastors and Christian leaders around the world. And I believe that the basis by which we do the training is online by internet. And um, so a year later, we launched the Global Church Network in Orlando, Florida. And at the same time, Chris, we launched online training at the exact same time. Uh, And so we've been fortunate to be involved in online training for over 22 years. And in those early days when we said that we were going to do online training, people said, oh, that's never going to work. That's never going to fly. And by the time of October of 2002, we were already in 114 countries doing online training. It wasn't as fast as it was today, as it is today, Um, but we saw the future. And so it was out of that moment that the Holy Spirit whispered, called Dr. Bright. We agreed that we would launch a network and the network was born in January of 2002. And I'm grateful to say today, Chris, that there's more than 2,700 different denominations in the network and more than 700,000 local churches worldwide. And the network is growing very fast. It truly is. And it's it's really hard to keep up with the amount of growth that is going on uh, with men and women participating in going to the finish line. Um, right. A friend of mine asked me about two years ago at lunch, he said, James, could you give us the elevator version 
uh, of the network, Global Church Network. I said, I think I can. I said, we synergize in order to mobilize, to help finalize the Great Commission. And that's who we are. So that's what we're about. We're not in every lane, but I think we're in a very important lane um, to synergize, mobilize, finalize. And, and I'm grateful to say, Chris, we're getting closer than we've ever been to the finish line. I love it. I love it. Well, James, it sounds like, you know, the, I'm very interested in the online training that you guys are doing. So is this like a seminary online that you're, that you're using? Um, Chris, um, when, when we launched the online training, we began to ask ourselves taking the long look instead of the short look. Okay. Um, you know, I, I was privileged to, to go to Bible college and then I went on the seminary and then I went on and did my doctoral work. And I, I, I don't feel worthy enough to have had the opportunity to do it. Um, but it, in the day's world, it's too slow. Um, you know, to do four years bachelor's, three years to do the master's, uh, or the MDiv as we call it, Master Divinity, and then build your doctorate upon that. If you choose to do that, um, that's 13 years. Um, 13 years, wow. So if someone started today, that means they would finish in 2037. Yeah. Um, if they only did uh, the bachelor's, which is great, um, then uh, that's 2028. If they wanted to do a master's, then we are past 2030. If you're going to be a missionary um, in the traditional model, it's about eight years um, before you actually get to the field. Okay. Um, and And that model was based upon we in the Western world uh, were sending missionaries out and we still are, praise the Lord. We are. And, and I, and, and what, what God has done to it, missionaries around the world is staggering. However, uh, today the God has his people everywhere. Uh, there's churches and incredible pastors and leaders all over the world. And so uh, it's not today about just training someone eight years for them to go. What about collectively how men and women are being trained on a global scale uh, to go? And and then the next step beyond that is in certain areas of the world, they don't get up asking where you went to school. Yeah. Um, it's it, And in the future, it's really not about where you go. It's about who taught you when you went. Because when the Internet was born, distance died. Um the internet doesn't know distance. Um, it, it's not about where, it's about who. So when we launched our school, it's called the Global Church Divinity School. And for those of us who are participating in the podcast, you can just go to gcds.tv, Global Church Divinity School.com or acronym gcds.tv. And you will see the Global Church Divinity School. And the Global Church Divinity School uh, has more than 250 courses in it, eight major languages. We're going to 25 major languages by 2030. And the Global Church Divinity School was built for the global church. And, and Chris, when I use the terminology global church, we in the Western world think, well, that's them. No, mm. global is global. Right. Global is a 360. So when we think of global church, we think of everyone. And, and so the Global Church of Indian School was built to accommodate pastors who want to train their teams at their church, to accommodate pastors who want to launch campuses uh, at their own local church anywhere in the world, to equip those who are called into full-time ministry. The church has grown so fast around the world, number one. Number two, if we're actually ever going to finish the Great Commission, we're going to need a lot more trained. Right. Um, we know that we need well over a million more called ministers in this day and time um, to finish. A million more plus. It's actually, in one particular country, they, they need a million just in that country alone to finish because of the size. So you, you're not going to be able to scale it at the slow model, right. it's too big, and you're going to have to find a way 
to speed it up without reducing the quality. Right. And and I believe the internet affords us that opportunity to do both at the same time, to allow men and women to go to school, to get the training as they want it, when they need it, um, and continue to do the work that God's called them to do. And at the Global Church Divinity School is an incredible opportunity for any of, of our viewers here today. Um, it's extremely affordable. Um, and when they go and, and click a, on the information there, they'll see how affordable it is because we built it with the global church in mind. Right. And, um, and so we don't compete with our partners. We complement our partners uh, to get to the finish line. Wow, that is incredible. So I mean, it's on, is is it self paced online type of like? It training? is, it is, and um, and we have churches that open up their own campuses, and what's cool about it is they get to choose the name of their campus. So oh, let's yeah. say if they're in Chicago, they could call it the Greater Chicago Divinity School, um, and so they get to choose the name of their school, and and there's different levels of membership. Um, right. There is the growth level, which is just one on one. I just want to take the courses for myself. There's the gold level, where a pastor can say, you know what? I want to open up a campus for all of our leaders to participate as well. And then there is the grand level that allows a pastor to partner with nine other churches in his area. And he's maybe paying for it, but he's blessing the other nine and making it one campus together so the other churches can benefit as well. Then there's the global level where a pastor anywhere in the world can bring another 50 churches into it and create one global campus. And what's really cool about that is he creates a global campus, but underneath that global campus, he's able to see where all the other people are. It could be in Zimbabwe, it could be in Lebanon, it could be in Nepal. It could be in America, and he's able to see where all the other people are taking their classes and all those different campuses that are underneath that large campus. We built it that way so that any man, any woman, um, whether it's for him himself personally or globally, will be able to participate uh, in it. And what's really also cool about the pricing, the pricing is uh, so affordable in that and it doesn't matter to us how many students they have. We, we, we don't care. And, um, and, and so it's become a great training opportunity, education opportunity for men and women around the world. Wow. That's incredible. Let, and let's take our first break. We'll be right back guys. If you're a man who's looking for greater spiritual guidance into how to become a better leader, finding resources that you can trust and then implement can be daunting. For me personally, I thought it was a lost cause and I decided to take the action knowing that I wasn't alone. It was because of this wide gap that we created our Lion Within Us community and the areas that we were helping Christian men grow are incredible. For instance, we built ways for guys to lean in and grow through fun events like our daily spiritual kickoff where you get that much needed boost directly from God's word. Our Bible studies that always focus on how to discern and apply what we learn and even our amazing form where you can speak your mind without fear of getting shut down or judged by the extreme rules of modern day social media. On top of all that, we know that many men want help overcoming issues and becoming stronger in many different areas. That's why we created several mastermind groups where the iron truly sharpens the iron. Our community is about having a growth mindset, accountability, intentionality, and transparency. In other words, just leave fake you at home and come to community just as you are. I fully believe what we built. I see the impact it's making on men right now, and I would love to have you check it out. So start your very own 30-day free trial today to see how we can help you be a better leader. So if you're ready to take that first step, head over to thelionwithin.us and get started. Your journey begins here. Visit thelionwithin.us, and I'll see you inside the den. James, I'm just curious. So for a guy that's listening right now, maybe yep. he's, you know, he feels like he's been convicted. He, he wants to, to, to learn more, to do more, to serve more. 
what's he looking at? I mean, how many hours a week should he be could be could he be thinking about to work through a program like that to start getting? Some it's it's, it's it's if he just takes his time, it's three years. Okay, okay. Um, you can go faster if you want to, um, uh, but it's uh, we built it for three years, and um, and it's I tell people it's not cotton candy, um, it's right. real robust. And there's over 200 faculty um, that have provided their best teaching and training, um, and um, and it's an, it's an incredible opportunity. It really is. That's amazing. Has there been, you know, so far as certain denominations? I know they they like you know certain denominations want you to go to these certain areas for training. Has there been any pushback? You know, I'm just curious within the the church that you know because we don't ordain ministers we don't okay. uh, license ministers um we're not going to um because we believe there's enough fellowships and denominations out there that are already credentialing so we're not planning to do that and so it doesn't create competition or uncomfortableness for anybody right right so you can just do the training get trained up and, and, and have be confident there. I mean, is it video based training? I mean, it is. Give, give an example of what to expect. It's video and it is, uh, as transcripts that can be downloaded of every course. Uh, it's an amazing reservoir. Right. Uh, yeah. It's, um, five, almost six terabytes of content. It is, um, uh, over 2,600 lectures. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. For men and women all over the world. Yeah. Well, guys, we're, we're going to be sure to have that link in the show notes. You said it, you said it was GCDS.TV. Dot TV. Thank you. It's a, I feel like it's a big value that we've added. Uh, and we've been building this for 20 years. We really right. have. Yes. Right. That is absolutely incredible. Uh, so, I mean, I know you have such a big push as well for the finish 2030. That's part yes. of, uh, of your passion. Yes. So maybe you can unstack that, uh, I will. Unpack that sure. a little bit and explain our visit, our listeners what that's all about i'll be glad to man all right well go ahead sir well i'm just so grateful chris to be able to unpack regarding the 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 vending school and and i do encourage our our viewing audience to to go to the link that you see and 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 check it out i I will simply say this there's a lot of training platforms all over the world Mm -hmm. but you will not find one like this that, that it took 20 years to beautifully strategically build something that represents the global church. It includes us in the Western world as well, but it's so far beyond that to learn from men and women who are actually making it happen um, and to sit at their feet and to learn. And it is video based, but also there is transcripts that you can download can you imagine being able to download over 6,000 pages of edited transcripts? That would be like 40 to 50 books that you're having right here from more than 200 faculty. It's an incredible reservoir. We wow. are who we are based upon what we bring into us. The way that I can grow is to read my experiences, but spending time with the right people. Right. If I find myself as the smartest guy in the room, I'm in the wrong room. I need to get in a room filled with men and women that are brighter than me. And then when I get in that room, I need to get really quiet and right. let myself go to school and and grow and be able to move forward. Because if I'm an eight in my leadership, I'm not going to attract nines, tens, and twelves. I've got to continue to raise the lid of my personal uh, leadership. And then, Chris, we've also, you know, been everything flows to one thing. It's we have a number of initiatives that are going on all over, but we do not randomly do one thing one place and say, okay, let's do that and then do something else someplace else. Everything flows to one thing and it's to finish. Right. Everything flows to finish, whether right. we're doing online training, whether we're doing a leadership roundtable, whether we're hosting our biennial Synergize conference at Synergize.tv. 
we see everything we do in the Global Church Network as on ramps to the highway that takes us to the finish. You know, I live along Interstate 95 in Florida, and okay. 95 runs from Miami to Maine. But what makes the interstate go are the on ramps. Well, the on ramps get no credit. It's always I-95. Um, right. But without the on ramps, it doesn't matter how good your highway is. So when we build the network, we see everything as an on ramp to the highway to the finish. So in 2017, uh, Chris, we were fortunate to to host the Wittenberg 2017 Congress at Castle Church, where Martin Luther is laid to rest. Wow. We were the only one, the only ministry afforded the opportunity on the actual day of the 500 year celebration of the Protestant Reformation to host a gathering of eagles in Castle Church in Wittenberg, Germany. And on that day, November 1, 2017, we launched Finish, Finish 2030. And Finish is an acronym. Right. It stands for Find, Intercede, Network, Invest, Send, Harvest. Find, Intercede, Network, Invest, Send, Harvest. Now, to my fellow Christ followers in this podcast, people often ask, how can I multiply myself? How can I move from production to reproduction? I want to tell you how to do it. You have to simplify. If you simplify it good, then it becomes memorable. So uh -huh. you first of all make it simple. Then it becomes memorable. Then it becomes transferable. And once it becomes transferable, it's multipliable. But if it's too complicated that the a man or woman on the run can't remember it, then it will not be transferable and it will not be multipliable. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you got to get it down to make it simple. So finish is an acronym. Six steps to the finish. Mm -hmm. Finding the remaining unriched people groups. Intercede and pray. Network like crazy. Invest a lot of time, energy, and money. Send the best young equipped, bring in the harvest. So let's fine tune that word network. Right. In the future, those who are not networking will be not working. It's not about activity. It's about accomplishment. It's not about busyness. It's about business. What is a net? A net is a lot of little knots tied together for one purpose. Not to be hung on a wall, mm -hmm. but to be filled with fish. So what does a networker do? Tie relational knots. That's what I do. I never envisioned Chris founding and co-founding a network. That was never my goal. I, I was actively involved in full-time ministry when the Lord whispered this to me. And so we have to tie enough relational knots for the same purpose. And the purpose is not to make the earth a better place for people to go to hell from. That is not the purpose. Mm -hmm. Should we take care of God's earth? We should, but that's not the main purpose we're here. We're not here just to beautify the place. We're here to finish the assignment, to give access to the gospel of Jesus Christ to every ethnic group, to every people group on this earth. But it's too big for any single person to do. You can't bench press 8.4 billion people. And before long, it's going to be 9 billion. Right. We can't bench press it. It's too heavy. We need a lot of spotters. And so if we can pull enough people together, we can get to the finish. Now, why 2030? Why not 2028? Well, because we're coming up on the 2000 year birthday of the church. And so it's hard to believe, but Chris, you and I, we're going to welcome in the third millennium. We're going to say goodbye to the second millennium and we're going to enter into the third millennium. This is huge. 
that we're about to become the church of the third millennium. Right. We're coming to a finish line. So why 2030? Because we're coming to the 2000 year birthday of the church. A vision becomes a goal when we put a date to it. Right. Until we put a date to it, it's just blue sky. Hmm. Until we put a date to it, we can say, well, we'll do the best we can and we'll let the next generation pick up from where we live off. But if we put a date to it, mm -hmm. wow, it becomes measurable. Now, now we got we got to stay focused. We got to stay active. And so we're coming up on the 2000 year birthday of the church. The Global Church Network is going to celebrate it on June 9, 10, and 11 in Jerusalem at the International Convention Center of Jerusalem. And we're already making plans. And so for us, Chris, finish is a serious word. Find, intercede, network, invest, send, harvest. And everything we do moves us toward that goal. So we're launching hubs in the network. We have Finnish summits going on the network. We have the online training that's going on in the network. And, 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 and we're moving everything we can to do our very best to have said, listen, we provided access to the gospel to the hardest unreached people groups in the right. world. And that's what, that's what Finish 2030 is all about. Love it. So, what, what are the hubs you mentioned? There, there are hubs there. So, is that, are they located all over the world? I mean, they what, are, Chris. And we we have 161 hubs. Okay. By 2030, we're scaling to 800 hubs, and we have a master map, a, a blueprint map that we're working off of. Um, two weeks ago, I was in Serbia, and I was meeting with the leaders there of the Balkan nations because in September we're launching seven hubs in the Balkans. Um, Lord willing, next week, I'll be in Romania and Moldova, and we're going to be launching uh, two more hubs there. And right now we're doing Europe because last September we had a Finnish summit uh, right. there. And so we're launching hubs. And for our audience, all the hubs do three things. Synergize the best relationships, tie a lot of knots, systematize the best training. Everyone in the hub, Chris, has access to the Global Church Divinity School. But you can't have access to it unless you are in the hub in person. People say, well, but it's online. No, it's not. It's both. It's online and on ground. If we're going to build relationships, you got to get in the room. You got to right. spend time. You, you got to pray together, break bread together. You got to get in the room and get to know one another. This is not about on the go, just on the go all the time. And, and so systematize the best trainings and then strategize for unreached peoples. Mm -hmm. It's got to move us closer to those who've never heard the gospel. And so every hub does that. We have a hub in Cairo. We have hubs in Peru. We have hubs in Nepal. We have hubs in sensitive places uh, in the world. And, and we continue to launch more and more hubs because it's on ground and online and gets us closer to the unreached people groups. And we're very strategic between now and 2030 where those hubs are going to be launched. Amen. Well, guys, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. I find it helps me to have a guide at times when I'm reading and studying the Bible. One way that helps me is by using devotionals to guide not only what I read, but insights into the scriptures themselves. So we were blessed to become an author on the YouVersion Bible app, and we saw an immediate opportunity to help others with devotionals around the areas that we spend the most time talking about at The Line Within Us. So if you enjoy the show, you may enjoy these devos as well. We have some guys that are using them as part of their small groups, as well as they're a great way to get conversations going. So to see the ones that we've created, head over to thelionwithin.us slash version, and that's Y-O-U-V-E-R-S-I-O-N to learn more. So that's thelionwithin.us slash version to get started with your own men's devotional today. 
So James, where can the guys go to find out about the hubs? Maybe they want to get connected to learn more about, you know, the hubs themselves to be part of that. Is that at the same website? I will direct them to the main website and, um, and then I will also give them an email address and Chris, thank you for all you're doing and what you're doing. I, I see exactly how you're putting a key in the door and opening it. And I, I really am grateful for it. Um, because, and I will say this in our next segment is it's not that the harvest is hard mm -hmm. is that the labors are few and, and it's always a labor problem. It's never a harvest problem. The devil lies to us to convince us that the ground is too hard. It's not about the ground. It's not about the harvest. It's about the labors. It always is. We have a labor shortage. Well, maybe share to that to the guy right now who's listening, James, and thinking, you know what, this is more for pastors, and I'm not called to be a pastor. Right. What, what would you, what would you say to that to to that individual who's will, pretty much said, you know what? You. Yeah, I will say that because we have business leaders involved, we have marketplace leaders involved. Um, it's not just, uh, for the preacher. Yep. Right. Thank you. Okay. What about, what would you say to them though, so far as their role in fulfilling the great commission? Cause it's not just preachers that are supposed to do That's that. That's right. No, I'll say that too. Thank you, Chris. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Well, I, tell us a little bit about the synergized conference. Where, where is that at? What, how's that grown over the years? I'd love to learn more what that looks okay, like. Thank you. I'll unpack that too. Yeah, thank you. And you notice we use the word synergize as a conference. Yes, um, yeah. No. So what and is I'll that? tell you how, why I chose that word too. Yeah, go ahead. Love okay. to hear about it. You, you ready? Yes, sir. Well, you know, Chris, we're talking about the, the hubs and, and how that started was back in 2006, a friend of mine from Manila, Philippines, David Sopri Pena, and I were in South Africa. We'd had a summit down there. And he said, James, you know, we need to talk about hubs. I said, huh? What about? He said, well, you know, airplanes have hubs and companies have hubs and there are certain cities that would can be considered a hub. We need hubs in, in the church. I said, well, that's a really good concept. And so I started mulling that around in my head and it's called the Global Hubs of Christianity. And, and anyone is interested in learning more about the hub, you can go to GCNW, GCNW.TV, which stands for Global Church Network. Just go to gcnw.tv and you scroll down a little bit in there in the screen, and you'll see the hubs there. And if you're interested in, in being a hub trainer, you can write us at hubs at gcn, uh, gcnw.tv, hubs at gcnw.tv. And we would love to have you participate because it's going to take everybody to go to mm -hmm. the finish line. It's not just the pastors going. It's not just the seminary teachers going. It's going to take everybody. Uh, as the book, The Synergistic Church, teaches, we all have a role in the goal. We all have a part in God's heart. See, the goal is everyone. The problem is none of us can do it. So we have to move from goals to roles. I have a role. Chris, you have a role. Every one of us on in the podcast, we all have a role. You have gifts and talents and abilities that God put in you. And, 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 and you have a role toward that goal. And what's really cool about the hubs is that we cultivated a, a training resource, a, a, curric, a, a curriculum that was developed by men and women from all over the world. And so anybody can teach it. So it's not just a man or woman that's been to Bible college or seminary. No, anybody can teach it. And so we need, the church needs a lot of laborers. Um, oftentimes the devil tells us, you know, the harvest is not so good in Europe or right. the harvest is slowed down in America, you know, and well, you know, things, that's just the way it's going to go. We don't have a harvest problem. We have a labor problem. Jesus said the harvest is plentiful. You got to trust the story. The story right. is the harvest is plentiful. Then he says, pray to the Lord of the harvest that he'll send more laborers into the harvest field. It's always a labor shortage. Anytime right. we see, Chris, that harvest is slowing down, it's not because the Lord is not at work. It's because we don't have as many laborers. And so at every finished summit, 
and people can check this out at finish2030.com. At finish2030.com, you'll see the Finnish summits that are highlighted there. And at every Finnish summit, we handpick hub leaders, uh, hub leaders who are going to lead the hubs. And then the dates are set because it's not just about the summit. It's about pulling people together, synergizing together, getting the hub leaders together, setting those dates. And then we need hub trainers and teachers. Mm -hmm. We would love for you to consider being a hub teacher or a hub trainer. It would be super cool to have you involved, whether it could be in Europe or in Africa or here in North America. We're getting ready to have our Finnish Oceania Summit for the island nations. Um, and that's going to be really cool for 22 yeah. nations there. And it's going to be in Fiji and, and that's in October and the Finnish East Africa summits at the end of August. Well, all this is shown at finish2030.com. And if you have an interest in being a hub trainer, you can write us at hubs at gcnw.tv and we'd be honored to have you uh, participate uh, in it um, as we collectively go to the finish. You know, we use the word synergy a lot, Chris. Yeah. We use uh, you know, the book that you have there, which I really right. appreciate you taking the time to read. And um, and we a lot of us have a lot of books, and I, I know that. And um, But I decided to write a book on the synergistic church, the answer to fulfilling the Great Commission, after we had built a network. You know, and just because someone says they have a network doesn't mean it works. Um, if there's nothing in the net, it's right. not working. That's if right. you're not tying relational knots, you're not building a net that works. And the second word in network is work. So if you're going to build a net that works, you're going to have to put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in it. But we chose the word synergy um, because Romans 8.28 says, God works together all things. But the Greek term there is God synergizes all things. Synergeo. He, Paul chooses to use the word synergy. God mm. synergizes all things for my good. Why does he do that? Because I love him and I'm called according to his purpose. Right. And so he synergizes the universe, Chris, for you, for me. I don't know how he does it, but he does it. And Back in the 1990s, Chris, 1996, I was reading a book by Stephen Covey, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Oh, and yeah. in my study here, I have a signed copy from Stephen, uh, and he wrote a letter in the front of the book to me, and I've cherished it. It told me a lot what I need to know about Dr. Covey when he sent me the book in 1996. But habit number six is the word synergize synergy. Hmm. It's habit six, right before habit seven, sharpening the saw. Right. So he was summarizing the first three habits, the inward work, the second three habits, the outward work. The first was the private victory. The second was the public victory. Hmm. And, and after you understand when, when you can build synergy, right. habit six, so when I was reading that, Chris, I saw that he was quoting from the New Testament and, and using the New Testament words about synergy. And I said, wait a minute, these are our words. And what happens is that when the church world doesn't use certain terms, the business world steals them. Oh, yeah. And Okay, so synergy and synergize, these are New Testament concepts. And um, so when Dr. Bright and I were launching the, the network, we talked about synergy in 2002. And at that time in the body of Christ, no one was talking about synergy. And because we're so far apart, everybody was in their own lane. They all said they were going to the finish, but they're all in their own lane. Mm -hmm. And so we launched a synergized conference because as I was reading the seven habits, habit six, when I, it's so captivated in my imagination. I said, oh, man, this is really good. Yeah. And so for 22 years, we've hosted the Synergize Conference. And it's at Synergize.tv. And 
um, and it, it sells out every time we do it. The next one will be 2026. And, and, and men and women come from around the world to the Synergize Conference here in Orlando, Florida. It's always in the wintertime on purpose in yeah. Florida. Uh, but, oh, yeah. but men and women come from around the world where we say this is where the global church gathers to help save the world. And, um, and it's a, it's more than just a conference. It's, it's, um, it's an outpouring. It is an impartation. It is where you get a glimpse of what the Lord is doing on a global scale and you'll be able to find your role in the goal. It's a, it's a wonderful conference. And I, I would encourage our viewers, uh, go check it out. Um, it, it's going to take place in February, 2026 here in Orlando, Florida. I know you will be glad you came to be part of the Synergize Conference. Amen to that. I mean, and who wants, who doesn't want to go to Florida in, in February? So, That's I mean, right, man. So it's, uh, you know, unless you're in the, you know, the Southern Hemisphere, uh, it's, uh, they're already having summer weather. You know, so. That's right. That's yeah. right. Well, I mean, this has been fantastic. I think there's lots to learn here. Before we wrap up, James, I'd love to play a lightning round with you. Just a little bit of fun of course, here. Man, fire Please do. Uh, and uh, just, just, so let's just jump right into it. So what do you enjoy doing for fun? Do you have any hobbies? I do. I enjoy walking. I enjoy walking by the lake, by the water. I have a walking trail that's not too far from here. Um, I love my two daughters, Olivia and Priscilla. Uh, my wife and I, we buried two children in the 1990s, one in 91 and one in 98. One was a little mm. girl, one was a little boy. And then we adopted our two daughters from mainland China um, and back in the early 2000s. And so uh, now they're 18 and 23, amazing Christian young women. But I often say made in China means something different to us than other people. And, right. uh, and so I love my daughters. I love my wife and married 38 years. And I love walking and just talking with the Lord privately and quietly. I'll play a little bit of golf every once in a while. I don't play much golf. Uh, I love golf, but I don't play much. But I enjoy those kind of things. Uh, and I enjoy writing. I do a lot of <clears throat> I don't know, obviously you're a great writer, so that you're not not surprised at that one. What what about favorite food? What what's your favorite food, James? You know, favorite food. Wow. You know, um I eat a lot of salmon. Um okay. yeah, I used to not do that, but about ten years ago the Lord got a hold of my heart about it. And um I eat a lot of salmon and I'm pretty faithful in my diet and health good health food. I have a regimen of uh, vitamins and supplements I take every day, no matter if I'm in the U.S. or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, but I, I eat a lot of salmon. And then, of course, I will say to my, to my daughters, hey, go get some Chinese food in honor of my girls. Uh, but I, I eat a lot of salmon. Yeah. Love it. Love it. So if you could have a superpower, James, what would it be and how would you use it? A superpower? Yeah, a superpower. Well, well I think the greatest force in the earth um is the Holy Spirit in the church. And, and I believe that the church is an amazing uh, superpower. There's more than 2 billion Christians in this world today. And we're add, adding 130 to 140,000 more per day. And the church is not shrinking. It's exploding around the world. And I believe that the greatest force on the earth is the untapped power of the body of Christ that can get in step what the Holy Spirit is doing today. There's no way to stop the mighty power of the gospel in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the greatest force on this earth. And I believe that we need to synergize our efforts together to finish the assignment. I can't think of anything greater for us right. to be a part of to be able to say that the remaining unreached people groups have access to the gospel and that we did what the Lord told us to do. I think that is the greatest opportunity of this generation. Amen. Amen. And, and James, the last question for you is what's, what do you hope that the guys listening remember the most from our conversation today? Thank you. I believe that the sky is the limit. We, we, we have the opportunity as Christian brothers and sisters to live our life from a heavenly edge. Paul said we're seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. 
Mm-hmm. We're not fighting for victory, Chris. We're fighting from victory. Right. And the view there is different than the view down here. I had an amazing dad and who loved the Lord and poured into my brother and me. And one day, Chris, when I was just 12 or 13 years old, my dad said to his two boys, why don't we fly a kite today? And we were living in Montgomery, Alabama at the time. And, and he went by this store that he managed. It's a very large store. It was closed on Sunday afternoon. He, he took us to the toy department and we he, he filled up an entire uh, shopping cart with kite string, little rolls of kite string, yeah. got a big kite, came out to the parking lot. And we started putting the kite up 100 feet and 200 feet, got another ball, 400 feet. And Chris, we put that kite up that day, 5,300 feet. We p- put it up a mile high. I remember the moment I was looking up. I, could, I couldn't even see the kite anymore. All I could do was feel the tug on the string. And my dad said to my brother and me, said, boys, you can put up your kite as high as you want. Don't let anyone else tell you anything different. And you know, for those who are watching, you can put your kite up as high as you want. You can choose to think higher thoughts instead of lower thoughts. You can choose to pray a bigger prayers than just smaller prayers. And in the eyes of God, all the prayers are small anyway. So you might as well pray the biggest one because to God, it's still small. We get to choose the friends that we spend time with. Why why run with the gossipers? Why have coffee with the critics when you could spend time with faith-filled people and visionary people? That's what I would do. And I would choose you, I would call you to put up your kite as high as you can and and make coffee nervous today and believe God for great, amazing, incredible outcomes in your life. Doesn't mean it's always going to be easy. As Chris and I said earlier on, there are valleys. Don't criticize the valleys. Celebrate the mountaintops. God's going to take care of you. That's what I would say. Put your kite up as high as you can. Let's believe God for amazing outcomes in this season of our life. Amen, James. This has been phenomenal, sir. I mean, you mentioned several links. How should people connect with you directly or just to learn more about the things that you're doing? Well, thank you. You know, um, we have a website that's named after me, jamesoldavis.com. And at that site, you'll see all the books and resources that are there. Um, You can also uh, reach out directly to me through our executive director. Her name is Kylie. And you can reach out at Kylie at GCNW.TV, Kylie at GCNW.TV, Kylie Harris, extraordinary. She's our executive director, but every correspondence we, we respond to, Chris, we're, we don't ignore it. We believe every email, every note is extremely important. And we want to do our best to add reciprocal value back to everybody. Amen. Well, thank you guys for, for that, James. We'll make sure we get that stuff synced up for you guys out there. Anything else you'd like to share with us today on the line within us? I think I, I think it's great. Just uh, cultivate the line that's within you. You know, starve the enemy and feed the one that builds faith and character in your life. And you'll see over time, your life is going to be so different. And as we wrap up this podcast with Chris, uh, I would encourage you, go get a piece of paper. Make a list of the closest friends in your life because that's a picture where you're going to be five years from now. And if you don't like that picture, get some new friends. Mm. Relationship currency is the greatest currency in all the world. And cultivated becomes capital. And we can do great things together. That's what I would implore you to do. That's what I do every week of my life. I encourage you to do the same. And you watch the dividends that will come your way. Amen. Amen. James, this has been phenomenal. Thank you so much for your time today, sir. Chris, man, it's been an honor to be with you. Thank you for the lying within you. Thank you for this incredible ministry and podcast. Thank you, Chris. Are you a manager, solopreneur, or business leader? Are you a husband or father? Do you have people counting on you to guide and direct them personally and or professionally? Get the guidance and confidence you need at the Summit Leadership Development, an intensive 
biblically-based mastermind group that transcends the boundaries of conventional leadership. Where there is no vision, the people perish. That's why we focus on the perfect, inerrant Word of God to become strong men and leaders in our business, home, and community. Join other men who are ready to speak and embrace truth. Learn how to refine your approach and become a beacon of light in a dark world in all aspects of life. Our intentional monthly sessions will give you an accountability partner to dig deeper throughout the month. The Summit is empowering leaders like you to amplify their influence in the workforce, home, and community. Don't miss this opportunity to become a strong leader in a weak world. Secure your spot today at thelionwithin.us slash leadership. That's thelionwithin.us slash leadership. All right, guys, I told you that was going to be a great one, and, and Dr. Davis did not disappoint for sure. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, if you feel convicted, if you have questions that you want to, you know, maybe I need to move forward with some of the training that I'm doing to, to grow and develop as a disciple of Christ, go check out the podcast. Go check the podcast website, if you will, thelionwithin.us. You'll see it right there. There's a link for the podcast. Get connected. Get plugged in. If you have questions, you can always email us directly, support at thelionwithin.us or chris at thelionwithin.us. I want to make sure we have way, plenty of ways for you guys to get plugged in and get connected because ultimately the biggest question that I want you to think about is what are, what's your drive right now, your mission to fulfill the Great Commission? Because your own mission, you you have been called to do this. So what drives it? Are you just sitting hoping that you are we just hoping our way through? Are we putting the, our hand to the plow and doing the work he's called us to do? And I know, again, I know you, you're thinking, well, I can just outsource this to other people. Nope, nope, nope. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. As Dr. James re- reminding us, we need to recognize you are called to do the work, right? For sure, we want to support the people, the, the, the missionaries and the pastors and all that that are doing uh, more of the front line. But you're still yourself called to, to advance the Great Commission, and that's your challenge as a Christian man. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Share it with other people for sure. Give us a rating and review all wherever you listen to podcasts at. Share the stuff out. Uh, connect with us at thelionwithin.us. That's thelionwithin.us. Find all our resources. Maybe if you're on the Bible app from version, go check out all of our devotionals we have out there completely for, for, for free. Uh, if you're looking to amp up and try to get some Christian men in your life, they're going to help you grow to be this, uh, just a stronger disciple. Our community, that's what that's all about. And we have making some incredible changes and advancements to the community. Every day we're building it. We're making it better. We're refining. We're pruning. We're just making sure that we're doing all we can to give you the best opportunity to be successful in being that disciple of Christ. So get after it, guys. Have a great day. Come back on Friday for some tips for, for your fun Friday episode. Thank you so much for the support. Again, the lionwithin.us is how you connect with us. All the wonderful things that we're doing. We'd love your support. If you want to be a monthly donor to the show, that'd be just be wonderful as we continue to try to do what God has called us to do. All right, so get after, have a wonderful day, and keep unleashing the lion with them. Are you ready to unlock your true potential? Introducing 30 Days to Unleash the Lion Within, a revolutionary series that will transform you into the leader God intends you to be. In just 30 days, you embark on a journey of self-discovery and growth. This free resource offers a series of messages, each packed with proven methods to simplify and apply God's word to your life. Inside this series, you'll find practical strategies to unleash your leadership potential. You need to learn how to harness the power of God's wisdom and apply it to your everyday decisions. Discover how to lead with integrity, inspire others, and make a lasting impact. But this just isn't another series. It's a transformative experience that will help you find your purpose, ignite your passion, and unleash the lion within. So visit thelionwithin.us forward slash unleash to claim your free copy of this series. Don't wait any longer. Visit thelionwithin.us forward slash unleash and become the leader God intends you to be.